This is instruction for solving inequalities. Um, you will have a worksheet that just says solving inequalities. And the directions for it will say choose the numbers or circle the numbers um, that make this inequality true. So you'll be given three numbers at the bottom and you'll have an inequality at the top. And let's go over just a little bit of um, review as far as what these different symbols mean. So we have this symbol, which means, actually, I'm going to start somewhere else. We have this symbol, which means less than. We have this symbol, which means greater than. And then we have this symbol, which means less than or equal to. And then we have finally this symbol, which means greater than or equal to. So um, that's a little bit of review as far as what those symbols mean. I'm trying to get them to all fit on this line up here. We'll see if that's going to be doable. I don't think it is. So this symbol right here means greater than or equal to. All right. So remember, if the pointy end is on the left, it's less than. If the open end is on the left, it's greater than. If the pointy end, again, it's less than. This is half of an equal sign at the bottom of both of those. So here is your problem. 8 is greater than A. So we're going to put each one of these up here in place of the A. Remember the A is just like having a blank box. So 8 is, I think I said less than earlier, 8 is greater than 3. Yes it is. So you would want to circle that one. Since I don't have an option of circling it, I'm going to bold it. And then we're going to try 8 is greater than 7. Is that true? 8 is greater than 7. Yes, it is. So we want to choose that one as well. There could be more than one correct answer. Then 8 is greater than 11. Is that true? It's not. So we were, we we're going to leave number 11 alone. It is not, it does not solve that problem. All right, next we have B is less than or equal to 9. So we're going to start with replacing B with 8. 8 is less than or equal to 9. 8 is less than 9, so it, it works. So I'm going to bold that one since I don't have a circle. And then we're going to try 9, our next number. 9 is less than or equal to 9. It's equal to 9, so it does work. So we get to choose that one too. And finally, we're going to try 10. 10 is less than or equal to 9. It's not less than 9, and it's not equal to 9. So we're going to leave that 10 alone. We're not going to circle it or make it bold. Next we have H is greater than or less than 10. So what are we going to put in our blank first? Down here we have three numbers. We're going to put 7 in there. 7 is greater than or equal to 10. No, it's not. So we're going to get rid of you. Next we're going to try 10. 10 is greater than or equal to 10. It is equal to 10, so we are going to circle that one. All right, and then finally, we're going to put in the number 12. 12 is greater than or equal to 10. Well, it's greater than 10, so 12 also is an acceptable answer. 
So your directions will ask you to circle all the numbers to make the statement true. So be sure that if you find one number and circle it, that you remember that you are not finished because it says to find all the numbers. Next we have four is less than M and let's put a three in there. Four is less than three. Nope, it's not. So we don't want that one. Next we'll try six. Four is less than six. Yes, it is. So we're going to circle that one. And then our last one to try out is nine. Four is less than nine. That is also true. So we will circle that one. Next, we're going to look at this one. N is greater than or equal to 12. So let's put our first number in there, which is 10. 10 is greater than or equal to 12. Nope, that one doesn't work. So let's put in the next number, which is 12. 12 is greater than or equal to 12. It's equal, so we get to choose that one. And our final one to check out is 14. 14 is greater than or equal to 12. It's greater than, so we get to choose that one as well. And last but not least, we have 7 is less than or equal to T or to blank. So let's put a six in there. Seven is less than or equal to six. No, it's not. So six doesn't work. So we're gonna try seven. Seven is less than or equal to seven. Ah, it's equal. So we're going to, we are going to bold it. And then the last thing we're going to put in is 8. 7 is less than or equal to 8. Well, 7 is less than 8. So we are going to bold it because it works as well. 7 is less than 8. So that's how you do that paper. Just be sure you check out each individual number and take your time.